Greetings from Vietnam. I am Evo Terra. I'm Sheila D. And we are the Opportunistic Travelers. We are at, I don't know, where are we, honey? <laughs> Min Mang Tomb. Right. What she said. <laughs> there are three big tombs here outside of Hue, uh, Vietnam, which is a lovely, lovely place to visit. Uh, this one is the most remote with the least amount of tourists. Why, you ask? Because you can't find it. It was pretty difficult to find. We've been around and around on our motor scooter, and but we finally found it, and it's impressive. I like it. The map they give you says it's about that far. <laughs> yeah, just follow these two roads. Yeah, no. Well, no. maybe maybe it was if we'd gone straight here. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 no, 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 don't blame this on me. I blame the Vietnam road system. Uh, Anyhow, difficult to find, but once we get here, quite lovely. Probably yes. the, the older of, of all of these. These things, are, none of them are terribly old. From what I understand, uh, buildings last around 200 years and then they collapse into nothingness. This place started being constructed in 1840-ish, and uh, this, this looks nice. And it likely has been rebuilt, I'm, I'm guessing, because the area around us is kind of falling apart at the seams, uh, as it were. But hey, you know, it's ancient, and it's Vietnam, and this place is... Whew, it's making me about 150 <laughs> years older than I was before I began the journey. Uh, yeah, but it's lovely, and Hue is just one stop that we're making on our big 15-day tour of Vietnam down the train line. So more from us uh, from Da Nang when we get there, right? Yes. Okay, kids. We'll check in with you once we get there. Cheers from Vietnam.